Alright folks, good morning. It is Monday, December 27th. Almost 8 in the morning and it's almost 40 degrees already, which is unseasonably warm, but Indiana, it could be negative 10 tomorrow and then 50 the next day, so that's how it is. But today we get to do something pretty exciting. Uh, exciting for me because I've never done it. We're going to go to the big lake and fish for perch. I've never done this before. A buddy of mine is going to take me, which is a surprise. You'll see who it is here shortly. And, uh, that's it. Short little intro. I'm super excited. I barely could sleep last night. Anytime when you fish as much as I do, you get to do something different, something you've not done before. It's exciting. So, uh, I guess we'll see you on the water. So, let's go. All right, spot number one. Here we go. Oh, missed him. Jimbo got another one. <laughs> That's the best one. They're about yeah. the same. A little better. There we go. Yeah. Shawnee finally felt the bite. And folks, I can tell you, this is tough for me. But I finally got one. He's a little guy. He is pasty and pale, too. But patience and I'm gonna tell you right now I am sitting there concentrating on the tip of that rod just like ice fishing I'm trying to show the camera well, whatever just a little perch and he crapped on me so I got that going for me yeah I want you to look at the setup this man has he's got his lawn chair out his rod holders just a nice little day at the park All right, I got one in the bag. I feel really good about that because I'm telling you, that's it's tough to sit here and hold that rod with your hands a little cold, which is really not the biggest thing, but to feel the bite, I have the most ultralight rod that I own and I could barely feel him. I had to second guess. I wasn't even sure it was a fish. I just, hook sets are free, so I set the hook. He's got him another one, folks. Good size one. That might be a new biggest. Yeah, I make tacos. There we go. I might have figured something out, folks. Might have figured something out. Well, if you're done playing back there, I'll give you one of these here in a little while and let you do it. Oh, okay, alright. Okay. reason I got these. Okay. Alright. Hey, we got a couple, folks. There we go. Live action. You can't tell how big they are because Jimbo's fishing with spaghetti noodles. Oh, that's the biggest one. That's a nice perch, folks. That is a good size fish there. Getting a few. Oh yeah. In the springtime, they'll just sit there and do this with the rod. Oh, and curl it. Oh, like just, cat, yeah. They'll just go with it. And grab it. There it is. Hey folks, I've got the feel now. <laughs> Get a tip or two from an expert get your own little feel for it and hey listen I'm not catching any jumbos by any means but I'm catching I'm catching fish. What do you think? Throw back the key. That's important. For now it's 
tough as it is? Yeah. I'm not shy. He's hooked right in the mouth, too. So. Yep, we can always let him go. And I got my bait back. A lot of times they'll gut, get a gut hook. Yes, sir. And I'll usually have to keep going with the knee. I gotta be honest, folks, the first hour or so I was struggling, but once I started to get the feel for what the heck I'm doing, which I know it doesn't look like rocket science, but man, it you gotta really concentrate. The bite is soft. But I'm tickled. That's what it's all about right here. And the middle is still breathing, so he's going back in like Rocky in the third. He gonna get too oh now that would have been epic you don't know if you'll be able to see with the GoPro but there are people lying on the shore as far as you can see so hopefully there's a bite here <laughs> we'll find out Got him another one while I'm parked around. Look at him go. Ooh, that's a stud. That's the biggest fish so far. All right. Jim, let me try one of his uh, ultra super light. Oh, he just got one right there. Back cameras recording still so I'm gonna try to show you guys how light this bite is it's gonna be hard to see but it is crazy light there's one that is so much easier holy cow <laughs> that's a lot easier <laughs> That is crazy. First bite. Wow. Yeah. And I'm fishing with two ultralights, but this is a different level. Oh, there's a good one. Well, the bite was good. I don't know if the fish is going to be good. Got to be better than that nugget we just caught. That's a keepable fish. Wise move to come back to our spot. Jim got a hold of one of them big ones. Oh, wow, yeah. That's a tank. Yes, sir. Awesome. I'd like to get one of them. All might have been on the smaller size. There's a good size fish. <clears throat> that feels a little better. Well, not quite a jumbo, but it's fat. There he is. I don't know if he's a big one, but it's a great bite. Oh, that might be my first big one. I don't know. I can't tell they're so deep. No. It's bigger. That's, that's a yeah, that's one of them good ones. <laughs> that one makes me feel good. There we go.
All right, guys, before I let you go, I just wanted to show you. I tried to do an explanation of the rig we were using on the water, but the wind noise just made it impossible. So I'm back here in my garage, and it's a simple. You have a bell weight about 12 to 15 inches below a pre-snelled hook. Uh, the reason for the pre-snelled hook is just to give the middle a little room here to swim around in circles. I see people using the straighten line, just tying a hook or two straighten line on the main line, and I'm sure that works fine for people. If so, do that. This was the way... Jim was doing it, and I figured I'd follow his advice, and it seemed to work pretty good. And then up about four or five feet from that is just a barrel swivel to prevent twisting. Now, I see people using two, maybe three hooks at a time. Wasn't necessary the way we were fishing. One hook seemed just fine. We had plenty of bites. And the rod I'm using is just a simple Shakespeare Micro Series Ultralight 7-footer. And it felt the bite okay. It was a super soft bite this day, as you could tell. It felt the bite okay. Uh, but nothing compared to Jim's rod. And to see the rod Jim was using, and it's not expensive, go to his channel, jimwheelerfishing.com. .com. Jim Wheeler Fishing on YouTube. I'll put a link in the description, uh, and you guys can go to his channel. Subscribe to his channel. He gives good info. He fishes a lot of the local lakes around here in northern Indiana, Illinois, Michigan, and you'll get some good info. So go check him out, and uh, that's it. Appreciate you watching. We're out of here.